Women in Charge started as a reaction to help our female middle school students. My goal is simple. Design experiences for my students to work with our community leaders, learn from their expertise, so students discover their path to success. As principal of Moultrie Middle School, I am constantly impressed with the level of collaboration Mrs. Curry engages in for her students. She is always on the lookout for relevant, real-world experiences for them and actively seeks opportunities to connect with STEM activities. She plans and coordinates field trips with tech companies, field investigation, arranges for scientists to speak directly with students, along with college visits. She has partnered Women in Charge with the Charleston Digital Corridor and the businesses within the Silicon Harbor to link her students to real-world opportunities. As Women in Charge enters its 13th year, I know its success is because my techniques fill a need. Each technique finds a way for them to explore and experience STEM by reducing the mystery of what it is and how to get there. Millie Beth collaborates with so many community leaders. Just to name a few, she collaborates with the Medical University of South Carolina, Clemson University, Google, College of Charleston, and locally owned technical companies. I believe that learners are more likely to pursue a topic or a career if they have some experience with it, if they can define it and see it in the real world. When I first began Women in Charge, I had no idea what the field of engineering was, and now I'm a junior engineering student. That's going to be my career path. A few of the techniques that Millie Beth uses with Women in Charge include computer programming, where the students are working with Google, doctor detectives, where students diagnose patients using evidence, and working in a DNA lab, where the students work with college professors and solve crimes using DNA. Millie Beth is a collaborative educator with me and other teachers, sharing resources on Edmodo, showcasing ideas with both our iPad cohort and school faculty, and sharing ways to utilize technology with our students are just a few ways that she collaborates with other teachers. As I share ideas and see more students succeed at an engineering challenge from visiting MIT students, or understanding nanotechnology from NASA engineers, or simply realizing they have a new interest, I'm thrilled I engineered women in charge.